Well, the Brits and basically the whole world are waiting for the Duchess of Cambridge to give birth to the newest royal. But there's been a changing of the regal guard in Belgium. Stuart Greer joins us once again from London tonight. Stu? Robin, as we wait for the birth of the youngest heir to the British throne, it was a weekend of pomp and pageantry across the channel, Belgian style. Belgium's newest monarch, King Philippe, was cheered by thousands who gathered outside the royal palace in Brussels. The 53-year-old becomes Belgium's seventh ruler after the abdication of his 79-year-old father, King Albert, who's suffering from poor health. They're so kind and they love the people, so it was really a magical moment for, for me. The day of transition started with prayers at Brussels Cathedral, followed by an emotional ceremony where Albert signed away his right to rule the kingdom. While mostly ceremonial, the Belgian monarch is one of the few things keeping the country together. In his farewell address, Albert called for unity between the bitterly divided Dutch-speaking North and the French-speaking South. Maintaining cohesion is essential for the harmony and well-being of the nation, he said. Taking the oath in Parliament, King Philippe's biggest challenge will be to build consensus among Belgium's fractured political parties after next year's crucial election. After the last vote, the country was without a government for a year and a half. Support for Flemish separatists is rising, and a small but vocal number of Belgians want to abolish the monarchy. We are in uh, the 21st century today. We uh, think that uh, we have no problem with a king, but uh, there's only one place where he belongs, and that's in uh, fairy tales. King Albert's abdication comes just three months after Queen Beatrix of the Netherlands stepped down from the Dutch throne in favor of her son Willem Alexander. Alexander. But in Britain, suggestions that the 87-year-old Queen Elizabeth vacate the throne for son Prince Charles have been dismissed. The Queen has made it clear she intends to carry out her duties until the end of her life. Meanwhile, the royal line of succession is set to grow longer, with the looming birth of William and Catherine's baby. Kate is due to deliver any day now. Seems like we've been saying that for weeks. The bookies here are betting that around Tuesday is the most likely date for the royal birth. Robin.